April's the month where you can really get going with your veg patch. The daffodils are looking lovely still and right now you have no excuse not to get out in your garden. All of us, all of us is you and me and they and them and he and she. All of us, all of us, all of us, all of us, it's all of us, it's all of us. All of us. Allotment Begins on Instagram asked me about the best techniques for digging your veg patch this week. So let me tell you, there are a few techniques for this. Um, there's a no dig method, which basically means that you add a thick layer of topping compost and then you plant direct into that every year. Or you can give it a bit of a tickle, as my dad says. Um, and I think that's good in my view because you can just pull out where there might be some weeds under the surface. You can really get some of the goodness into the soil and it's kind of good for the soul. Well, it's good for Ben's. Anyway, he loves to dig. It's quite clay. When you've given things a little bit of a tickle, you can then give it a bit of a raking. And basically what that does it is it creates a thin layer of soil on the top, and then it helps you to be able to pull out any stones or rubbish bits that you don't want. So when you've finished with your tickling and your raking, and you've leveled it out a little bit using the rake, it should look a little bit like this. There might be still a few little lumps and bumps if you've got clay soil, but that's okay because it's kind of good for drainage. And now it's nearly ready for planting. So this is my makeshift greenhouse. It's my spare bedroom. And here's a little check-in on my seeds. So I sowed these tomatoes in my first video and they, there are a couple that are doing pretty well. Sprouts are looking strong. I will never plant that many in my veg patch, but through a bit of trial and error, it's always good to have a few spare. So if something doesn't quite work, you can then use the ones you've kind of got left over. Over here, I've got my sweet peas. They're doing pretty well. I've got one still coming up here and one's obviously failed, but that's okay. So some of your seedlings will need pricking out and I'm still a beginner, so I'm still learning, but generally speaking, it's just good to use a little bit of trial and error. So I'm gonna prick out a couple of what look like the strongest parsnips from this tray and I'm gonna plant them under the cloche in the veg patch. But I'm gonna keep some in their pots there so that if it doesn't quite work out, I've still got some backup and of course I can sow some more but then obviously if the parsnips in the patch do really well I can then move the others over. To prepare the patch I've just added an extra little layer of multi-purpose um, soil and that's just to give it the, the richness it needs. Now then, pricking out. Where your uh, seedling is getting a little bit leggy that's about the time you know that it needs to come out and by leggy I mean long. So this one here is starting to look a little bit leggy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him a bit of a squeeze. And it's really interesting at this point to see how strong the roots are. Now along this line, I'm gonna just prepare a little gap for it to go in. And again, this is all trial and error so many, so much, like you just never know truly what's going to come out. And just really gently, you don't want to disturb the roots. But there, look at that. Really important, You're really gentle. It's such a little, little baby, little delicate thing. So now I've, I've prepared a little gap for it. I'm going to place it in. And I'm just going to Cover it round and really gently squeeze it in. Make sure it's really compact. I'm going to put another one in, another strong root. And he's going to go in. My little parsnip. That's what you call me. And he's, now, I'm only gonna put two out at this point because it might fail. It might be far too early, so we're gonna find out. The cloche is vital because there is still a chance of frost. The evenings are still really chilly. So 
and your seeds and your seedlings need warmth. I'm going to plant some more seeds now but before I go a quick one a few people have asked about where they can get seeds from so there are some suppliers still selling seeds online with soil and other bits and bobs that you might need so if you are really keen to start in lockdown then it is worth heading online but be patient of course because I'm sure their demand is really high another tip it might just be worth phoning your local garden centre because they may be able to get stuff to you um, from their supply I'm sure they've got lots of plants and lots of seeds and stock that are currently going to waste. Hopefully you enjoyed that episode and I've answered some of your questions about getting started on your veg patch. Please subscribe if you haven't already, you'll be alerted immediately when there's a new video and I'll see you next time. All of us, All of us is you and me and they and them and he and she. All of us. All of us.